Hello, my name is John Mannion and I work for the local public health team within the NHS and my role is primarily concerned with infection prevention. There's two aspects. The first aspect is around preventing communicable disease or infectious diseases and the second aspect is around preventing healthcare associated infections. These are infections that people may get uh, through hospital, uh, through care homes or in other places. A key aspect of our work at the moment is working with local GPs and other service providers, looking particularly at antibiotic prescribing levels across the HR community. Our work really is geared towards reducing antibiotic prescribing levels where this is possible, but furthermore encouraging responsible antibiotic use. Overuse of antibiotics is a real concern. Overuse can render antibiotics ineffective and ineffective antibiotics gives rise to serious life-threatening infections such as MRSA and C. difficile infections and this ties in very closely with the work that I do around infection control. There is a growing concern that antibiotics are losing their effectiveness at an increasing rate and the fact remains that at present there are very few new antibiotic medicines in the development pipeline. This could mean that in the future a person may develop a serious infection which may not be treated effectively since the bacteria that's causing the infection may be antibiotic resistant. This is a big public health concern for everyone. The public has a vital role to play in terms of using antibiotics in a responsible way to help them to remain effective in the future. Antibiotics are important medicines and should only be prescribed by a health professional. Antibiotics are used for bacterial infections, not for viral infections. This is where people can get confused and expect their doctors to prescribe antibiotics when actually they have a viral infection and antibiotics won't help. Taking lower doses of medicine or not completing the course encourages antibiotic resistance to develop. It is important for us all to remember that antibiotic resistant bacteria won't just infect you as an individual. They have the potential to spread and could infect people in close contact with you, for example members of your family. Antibiotics can upset the natural balance of good bacteria in your body. This allows the more harmful bacteria to flourish and this may result in you experiencing diarrhoea and or thrush. So, although antibiotics are a vital medicine for many people, they are not actually without any side effects or any potential harm. The public health team is urging people of the Rochdale Borough to use antibiotics properly. There is a misconception that antibiotics can cure coughs, colds, flu and other minor ailments that people may have, particularly over the forthcoming winter months. The reality is that antibiotics aren't going to help with these illnesses since many will be viral illnesses. The best treatment for these types of minor conditions, viral infections, is over-the-counter remedies plenty of rest and drinking plenty of fluids to prevent dehydration. Often these conditions will resolve by themselves without the need to visit your GP.
For more information about self-care, ask your local GP practice staff for the Choose Well self-care information produced by NHS HMR. The Public Health Department is further promoting the awareness of antibiotics and about using antibiotics responsibly via a publicity campaign which will run over the forthcoming winter months. Look out for our key messages. If you are prescribed an antibiotic medicine in the future and you have concerns about this medicine, then please speak with your GP or the health professional who prescribed this medicine to you.